Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about cryptocurrency news. We're going to look at a new stop the loss. An exchange has added, and this is a crypto exchange, they've added a circuit breaker similar to what's on the New York Stock Exchange. And that circuit breakers helped design to stop people from losing money on their investments um, on that particular cryptocurrency exchange. The backed app has released new information and one of the features of their new application is cash for miles. So if you have airline miles, say on United, Ameri United Airlines or American Airlines or one of the other airlines and maybe you've got 100,000 miles, you'll be able to convert those miles into cash and even buy Bitcoin all on the same app and it's presented by the backed exchange. We'll get into that. And finally, Bitcoin hits $6,800. We've seen a massive 20% increase in the price. That's great news. Let's get into it. Crypto investing ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. That's what our channel is all about. Can we get 99 likes on this video? It helps us because when, when YouTube sees the likes, they promote the video more. So smash the like button, it really helps a lot. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. So, Huboy adds crypto circuit breaker after last week's mass liquidations. So last week, one of the things that helped, it's hard to say if it really was a cause for Bitcoin losing 50% in a matter of minutes or a couple of hours, um, but it definitely made the problem significantly worse. Bitcoin went from a recent high in, the, in February of about $10,000 all the way down to $3,850 and then bounced back up to about $5,000. And so in the aftermath of last week's cryptocurrency market crash, the Huboy Exchange has launched a liquidation mechanism that would pull the plug on trading should prices become too volatile. The Singapore-based firm said Wednesday that the new mechanism integrated into the Kut's crypto derivatives market would halt all liquidations, where a trader's position is automatically closed during periods when volatility starts to present a real risk for traders. Huboy's new feature comes after comes a week after several crypto derivatives exchanges reported record liquidations following a sudden collapse of the Bitcoin price. BitMEX registered more than $700 million in liquidations in just 15 minutes last Thursday as Bitcoin plummeted through its support levels. Such sudden and large movements may catch traders by surprise, leading to a sudden rise in volatility levels. Sarah Sun, who boys vice president of global business, said market volatility can lead to unnecessarily high risk circumstances if the right measures aren't in place to protect them. So that $700 million that was liquidated in just 15 minutes, most of that was small investors. Small investors who decided, hey, I can leverage my $1,000 and buy $100,000 worth of Bitcoin and if Bitcoin goes up just a little bit, I'm going to make a ton of money. Well, unfortunately, if Bitcoin goes down a little bit, you're going to lose 100% of that $1,000. In fact, when you're doing 100x, 100 times leverage trading where you take $1,000 and you get $100,000 worth of Bitcoin, Bitcoin only has to lose $1,000 in its price. That's 1%. And once it's gone dropped 1% from your buy-in price, you're done. It's going to sell out your um, uh, position in order to prevent you from losing more money, which would put the exchange in the red. In fact, kind of how that works is here's an order book. And an order book is how uh, all exchanges work, whether it's the New York Stock Exchange or the Huboy Crypto Exchange, or BitMEX's Crypto Exchange. They have a list of people who want to sell their crypto, and they have a list of people who want to buy the crypto. I'm sorry, this is the seller's side, and this is the buyer's side. 
And so at the moment, this particular cryptocurrency was selling at $418. And you can see these are all the people who want to buy it for $418.40 and then $39. And you can see the price goes down and down. And so this guy down here wants to buy 16 of this cryptocurrency only if the price is at $417.91. And so once the price reaches his price target, it'll create an order and he will own 16.487 of that cryptocurrency uh, for, and he will have bought it, he or she will have bought it, they will have bought it at that price. So conversely, these are the people who have orders out there to sell their cryptocurrencies and they range, you know, this person wants to sell, or, and, and I say this person, this actually is probably several different people. There could be one person or they could be 50 people, but the total amount of, of crypto that they, that's at this price point is 6.42753821, uh, kind of a long number. Anyway, here's the point. When the price drops to certain different levels, uh, people all of a sudden have their account liquidated. And let's say that, that they've got um, 50 coins that need to be liquidated because uh, the price has dropped below that point. And so all of a sudden they need to liquidate 50 coins. Well, there's only 21 here and then there's 0.1 all the way through here. And so you're not gonna liquidate 50 coins until you get down to this price. And so it liquidates all of it, it takes that person's thousand dollars that they put up a thousand dollar bet and leveraged it to a hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin, but the price went the wrong way. And so their thousand dollars is getting sold. And it's gonna, let's say it takes the, uh, and it's not just one person, but it's a whole bunch of people. And they need to, though, all those different accounts are getting liquidated and they need to sell off 50 coins. Well, that's going to liquidate all of these orders in here and it's going to force the price all the way down to this price. And that, that lower price may trigger other accounts to get liquidated. And when those accounts get liquidated, it'll force the price even lower. And so it's this, this cascading effect where one liquidation forces more liquidations because there wasn't enough orders on the order book to fill those particular orders. And so as as that cascading, you know, it's kind of like you see the dominoes, one domino falls and it forces 50 different dominoes to fall. And, and the 50 dominoes falling ends up in the price of Bitcoin dropping by 40 or 50% in a matter of minutes. And so that's why this circuit breaker that Huboy is adding, the circuit breaker is gonna stop that process and prevent it because all of a sudden they put a halt to all sales and nobody can trade or buy for a period of time. Now, the New York Stock Exchange has had circuit breakers for decades now, and that circuit breaker got triggered last week on, uh, was it a week ago on Monday or two weeks ago on Monday? Anyway, the New York Stock Exchange's circuit breaker got triggered very recently. It doesn't happen very often, but because the price was dropping so fast on the New York Stock Exchange, the circuit breaker went off, to stop the madness, so to speak. And so the whole idea is this is gonna help prevent losses and it's done on the Hoboy exchange. I hope that BitMEX does the same because BitMEX showed the largest dollar amount of liquidations. And those liquidations are coming right out of small retailers' pockets because the big retailers, the big institutions, they typically are not, they're smart enough not to do 100X leverage. They may be greedy, but they are also conservative in terms of they don't like losses. And so, whereas the, the, there are people who are more of a gambler type and it's the gamblers who get out there and they put their thousand dollars out there hoping that Bitcoin will go up because they've got a hundred thousand dollars worth of leverage. And when it goes down a little tiny bit, man, it just wipes them out, wipes them out. So. Let's get into more news. The BACT exchange most makes the most of digital assets with BACT. Now we've talked about the BACT exchange since it went live on September 24th, uh, about four or five months ago. Today is March 20th, 2020, and it's 6.33 a.m. Central Standard Time. And so 
We've been talking about the Bact Exchange since it went live, but I know that there are people watching this video that have no clue who or what or where the Bact, B-A-K-K-T, exchange is. So I'll give you a brief history. Bact is a joint venture between three companies. The first company is the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange. They're a $9 billion company, so they're a big player. But they own multiple exchanges worldwide. The New York Stock Exchange is the largest one they own, but they own many others. And so they're a very successful, very powerful company. And they're in the uh, stock market exchange and uh, asset exchange business. In fact, when you ever, whenever you hear about the price of oil, the price of oil, when they say, oh, it's $50 a barrel or it's $75 a barrel, that price is coming off of an exchange that the the company that owns the New York Stock Exchange, they also own that exchange and it's off, of, off, off in the United Kingdom, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the first company is ICE, Intercontinental Exchange, and they own the New York Stock Exchange. The second company you've heard of, it's called Microsoft, and the third company, you probably drink their coffee. It's called Starbucks. Starbucks, Microsoft, and ICE, or the Intercontinental Exchange, formed a team, they formed a joint venture, and built a cryptocurrency exchange called BACT. But the backed exchange is built exclusively for institutions. So if you have, say, $10 million or, say, $5 billion that you want to invest in cryptocurrency, the backed exchange is one of the places that you might go to to invest mass amounts of money into cryptocurrency. Now, they're also, the backed exchange, them, are also creating a digital app for retail purposes. So you and I will be able to download this app onto our smartphone. And once we have that digital app, it creates a digital wallet. And in our digital wallet, we can store crypto. We can have in-game assets. We can have rewards like Starbucks rewards. We can even store cash in that wallet. And in that wallet, it breaks everything down into those different, different categories. So the rewards might include miles, such as your airline miles. It might include points, such as your Starbucks points. It might include different kinds of in-game rewards, and those points can be converted into cash using the backed exchange, as well as you can store cash in this app. And then it shows you what kind of activity as things increase, as things decreased, et cetera, et cetera. And so this, this could be a game changer once Bact has their uh, application out on the market. Time will tell. Like here's the rewards point and they break it down. Here's rewards from a coffee company, rewards from an airline, rewards from fuel points, you know, like gas station rewards from uh, beauty rewards, which could be, you know, a beauty supply company. Uh, so lots of different sources. Bact actually purchased a company that specialized in rewards points. Um, and so this, this could be quite interesting. This could be a game changer when it comes to cryptocurrency, especially if they can get international recognition, international attention. But with the powerhouses of Starbucks, Microsoft, and the Intercontinental Exchange, they've already invested 500 million, half a billion dollars, half a billion dollars into the backed exchange and four years of development. It took them four years before they actually went live with it. So this is obviously part of their long-term game plan. And you'll be able to buy and sell cryptocurrency right through the app. And so uh, this could be quite interesting. Time will tell, and hopefully they're successful with it. Now, Bitcoin had jumped past the price of $6,000, and it's decoupling from stocks and gold. When the stock market crashed this month in March, pop, a lot of people turned and said, oh, wow, look, stocks went down and Bitcoin went down, and therefore it's not an uncorrelated asset. Bitcoin is correlated to the stock market, but with the recent increase in price, while stocks are still down, it shows that cryptocurrency is not necessarily correlated to the stock market, but we had a significant unusual event uh, called, the, uh, called the, you know, the virus that's affected the world 
uh, because of YouTube stuff, I don't want to say all of those names because they like to ban channels for using the C words. Um, but while the stock market continues to struggle to find its feet, it may be a different story as far as Bitcoin goes. In the last 24 hours, the leading digital currency is put on 17% and is currently priced at 6089 The price is actually up a lot more than that now. Last I checked a couple of minutes ago, it was at $6,800. Bitcoin is 47% higher from its recent intraday low of $4,121. And that $4,121 was right around the time that we saw that massive 50% loss in Bitcoin's price. And so one of the things that the folks at Hoddle Knot seem to be of an opinion that the decoupling is upon us. Last 72 hours, S&P was down 11%, Dow was down 14%, but Bitcoin is up 31%. And so the price of Bitcoin has finally decoupled from the stock market after that massive stock market crash. And if you were to ask me my opinion, I'll share it with you. My opinion is, is that when the stock market was dumping, there were a number of people who needed to get cash in order to pay off uh, market responsibilities, uh, you know, liquidations that they had on other markets. And so they sold the Bitcoin to get the cash so that they could pay the obligations, the liabilities they just incurred because of the stock market and the gold and the price of all these other assets dropping so fast. And so people were just needing to get into cash very, very quickly. Now that that's kind of settled out, Bitcoin's price is recovering, but the other uh, stock markets, S&P for the New York uh, Stock Exchange and Dow Jones, uh, those have not recovered in the same fashion. So let's take a look at the current price. It has dropped down a little bit because it was at 6,800 when I started recording this video and it's down to 6,655. Um, but that's still up 18% in the last 24 hours. And you can see that the rest of the cryptocurrency market is in the green. The darker the shade of green, the bigger the percent. XRP is up 11%. Ether Ethereum is up 17%, et cetera, et cetera. And so things are starting to look up. Um, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have anything that you want me to explain a little bit more in depth? Or do you just flat out disagree with me? Hey, look, you know things I don't know. I know things you don't know. And when we share what we know with each other, we're going to grow smarter together. I want to grow smarter together with you. So share your polite, disagree your polite disagreements in the comments below. And I will respond to everything that I can. Uh, I hope that you have a fantastic day and stay safe out there, guys.